Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to be going over managing boards and committees in TOPS 1. So first, we're going to discuss their advantages, best practices for setting up and managing. And we will also show you how to send messages to committee members, share documents, manage tasks, and run committee reports. Uh, once we go through the slides, I will walk through a live example on how to set up and use the committee features. Okay, so first let's go through a few of the benefits of using this feature. One, you can easily track and manage board or committee members, including their terms and responsibilities. You can track the meeting dates, times, and locations, and then send messages, share documents, and run committee member reports. So we've learned why it's beneficial to use committees. Let's go over the steps and some of the additional features. To add a new committee, you will start by going to your portfolio page, select the community you want to add a committee for, and on the right side of the page, navigate to the committee. From the actions button on the top right, you'll select add committee from the drop down menu. On this page, you'll enter the committee information. The alias and the name are the only required fields. Um, you can, if this uh, is a board of directors, toggle the option to green. And then here's a description of each field on this page. The display name is the name that will appear on reports. The frequency, how often the committee has meetings. Notes, this is the area where you can enter information about the meetings. Your next meeting will be a date selection. The location, you can search for an amenity, a property address, or just type in the location. The number of members is the number of members required on the committee. The term length is the length of time the members serve. Responsibilities, any additional information about the committee's responsibilities. And then click Save. So next, we'll add a committee member. To do this, you'll go to the committee page, select your desired committee, and in the members, section, um, click the add button. From here, you can search for an existing owner and add to the committee, um, select their member type, their term expiration date, and then click save. If your community allows non-owners to serve, you can enter their information by selecting the add new member option, click add new member, um, and you can add their name, member type, and term expiration date. There are also places where you can add phone number, email, websites, and their addresses. Uh, adding an email address will be important for adding a non-owner me member in order to send them um, messages. Next, we'll go over editing a committee or a member. Uh, once again, you'll go to the committee, select the committee from the page, uh, click the edit pen on the right side. From here, you can edit the same fields that you entered when creating the committee. To edit a member, select the committee you'd like to edit. In the member section, click the edit pen. And same as before, you can edit the member type and their expiration date. To delete a member, follow the steps from the previous slide. Select the committee, click the trash can next to the member's name, and then select yes when the warning pops up. Okay, now we will cover how to send messages to your committee members. To send a message, you'll go into the committee. Um, from there, select actions on the right side and then send message. And I'm gonna show you these steps in more detail um, on our live example. Keep in mind that the message must be set as an email message in order to send these to the non-owner members in the committee. Okay, to share documents, um, you'll go to the committee. Um, there are two ways to do this actually. So you can go to the community page if you've already uploaded the attachment um, and you'll click on view all. Once in view all, you'll select the edit button on the document that you wanna add. On this page, you'll change the assignment to the committee or the board of your choosing, and then save the attachment. Once you do that, if you navigate back to the committee page, you will now see the attachment there. 
managing tasks. So to add to manage a task for the committee, um, go to the committee page, select the committee you'd like to add a task to, and then from the actions drop down, select add task and add the information there. Once you've saved the new task um, information, it'll show up in your activity page, um, your activity feed, excuse me, on the committee page. Comments, just as adding a task, you'll go to the actions tab at the top, um, click add comment and put the information for the comment in there and click save. So to print a committee report, um, this will print the information about your committee members. Um, you'll go to your reports on the left side and select the standard reports. In the standard reports section, select the committee members from the portfolio box. Uh, best practice tip before entering newly elected members, run the report and save to the image gallery for the board or committee to reference in the future. So next you'll be able to select your parameters and your sorting method. Um, and as with the send message feature, I'll show you this in a little bit more detail in the live example. All right, now I will be showing you all these steps in TOPS 1. And we will start with adding a committee. So on the portfolio, click communities and select the community that you'd like to add a committee to. Here on the right side in the community box, you'll see the committee tab right there. Okay. Now we'll go actions, add committee. And fill out the alias, we'll do office hours. Okay, and the display name will auto populate based on your alias and the name you've put in. Your meeting frequency, we'll select weekly every Thursday, and we will select our next meeting as today. For the location, you can search for the amenities. So for example, if you have a community center already in TOPS 1 as an amenity, you can just select that there. The required number of members, we'll go ahead and select three and a one-year term length. And you can also add your responsibilities for your board here. Go ahead and click save. Okay, now we can add members to the committee or board. So first we will start by adding a member that's already an owner. Okay, and this member will be our director. Their expiration date will be January, 2021. Now, if you wanna add another member who is not an owner, you'll select add new member. Member type, expiration. Here's where you can add phone number, email, websites, address. So I'm gonna add an email address in here. as my primary and save. And I'm gonna add one more member. And for this one, I'm gonna skip adding their email address so I can show you how that affects the send message. Okay, so while you're still on this page, you'll see, let me close this box, the attachment gallery so you can add files directly here for your attachments. So we'll go ahead and add, uh, let's say this parking permit. And now that file is available for the board members. Another way to add attachments um, is if you go to your community page, we're in A Myers Park, 
So this is where you would go if you had already added a file, but you want to make sure that this is designated for the committee or board to see. Scroll down to your attachment gallery and click on view all. And we'll go ahead and edit this one here. So you'll select the edit button. And you'll see in the assignment portion, it says A Myers Park. Now we're going to change that to office hours board. This one here. And go ahead and click save. Now that we did that, we can go back to your committee page. I'm just going to refresh this here. And you'll see that that attachment has now been added to the committee page as well. Okay, so now we'll go over um, adding a task. So we went actions, add task. And I'm going to assign this to myself. Due date. And then you can change the status here as well and, and the priority. So I'm going to say review parking permit since I just added that file in here. Please see attachment and review. And save. So now you'll see over here in the activity feed that task that I have created is now showing here. And if you click into that, you have the ability to go to actions, edit, you can add a comment. Um, okay, and then go ahead and click save. And this is also where you can edit the status of this task. So if you click on edit, you can go ahead and say closed and save. And you'll see here that it's no longer red because it has been closed. Okay, so now let's go over sending a message. So I'm going to go back to the committee's page. And this is the one we just created. Before I send a message, there is one detail I forgot to include. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this committee. Um, I want to make this the community board. So you can only have one co committee designated as your community board, and it'll give me that notification when I go to save it here. So it's telling me that I've already selected a different one as a community board. Do you want to change it to this one instead? I'm going to go ahead and click yes. So this is now my community board. Okay, so here at the actions tab again, we're going to click send message. And it's going to default to that smart message, which means whatever the um, homeowner has decided their delivery method is email or print. That's what it'll default to. Since I added Maria and Valerie as non owner members, um, we have to use the email preference. And you'll see here that Maria is still in red, and that is because I did not add an email address to her name. So we're going to cancel out of there real quick. Oh, we'll go back to the committee. Into your committee here. And Maria was the one without the email, so let's edit that. And we'll add an email here. Go ahead and save. Okay, let me go back here. Okay, so now I'm going to click back into my committee now that I've updated her email address and send message and change to email, and now you'll see there's no error occurring here. Um, this is where you can now um, add your subject in your message. Let's say, let's 
So we want to send a message that we've changed the meeting time. Now here you can also add some attachments. So if you have like some reports that you wanted to add, you would just click this attachment here and add your files. Okay, generate and review. You can see a preview of your message here, your delivery preferences. Um, if they're owners, it'll show that in their addresses as well. And then you click send all. Okay. Now, finally, we'll go over um, your report for the committee or board members. On the left hand side, click reports and standard. In this top portfolio section, you'll see committee members right here in the middle. Okay, so you have your member name sort options are here. We're going to stick with member name. Now you can include various communities, or I'm sorry, committees. Um, in this section, we're going to go ahead with our office hours board that we just created. All member types. If you wanted to choose your expired members, you could choose that there. We want to show if they're an owner. Um, let's see their term expirations and phone numbers if they have one. We'll go ahead and apply that. Okay, and you'll see here the name, owners, member type, um, the name of the board, email addresses, mailing address, and the term expiration. And then you can export this as well. And that'll populate into a PDF. Okay, so I think that is all the items I was going to cover for the committees and board set up for today. All right, we're getting some questions in here. Um, let's see, when adding a member, if they're an owner, will it auto populate the email? Yes, it will auto populate their primary email address that you have already entered into TOPS 1. What does the community board mean? Um, what does it do? So the community board, I will show you my screen for this one. If you click on a homeowner that is part of the community board, you'll see here on the top right that it says president of whatever the board is. So if you have not selected the co committee to be uh, the community board, that will not appear at the top. Thanks so much for joining us today and you guys have a great afternoon.